Okay, so welcome to lesson 14. Lesson four, 14 is all about dividing and using decimals, but today we're going to concentrate on the place value chart using that and uh, making a transition over to the basic algorithm. Okay, so uh, for question 1a, we have 5 and 241 thousandths divided by 3. So what I want to do first is to fill in my value. So I have five ones, and my five ones. I have two tenths, I have four hundredths, and I have one in the thousandths place. And I'm going to divide this by three. And what I like to do is I like to put a little one, two, and three to show, and to make sure I know that I'm putting everything in three, three different boxes or separating or dividing by three. Now, I notice I have five in the ones place. Again, I have one, two, three, four, five, but I have three boxes. So I can max out by placing one of each of the ones in these boxes, which means I'll have two left. I used up one, two, and three of them. I have two left. Um, I can't divide those into the ones, so what I have to do is to bring them over to the tens place. Now, as we've been talking about, each of these ones equals ten tenths which means if I have two ones, now I have 20 tenths. So if I, uh, let's put those in. So for one of the one of the ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 10 tenths. And for the second one, same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which gives me a total of 22 tenths. Now if I have three boxes to split those in and I have 22 of those, I should be able to put seven in each, but I think I'm going to have something left over. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which gives me a total of 21, which means I used all these 10. That 10, which gives me 20, and one of these. Now I have one left. What do I do? Well, same thing. I need to bring that over. 1 tenth equals 10 hundredths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, for a total of 14 hundredths. Now again, I need to split that 14 by 3, or divide it by 3, which means I can use or put 4, place 4 in each of the 3 boxes. That gives me a total of 12. So that's, I used up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have 2 left. I take my 2, and I bring it over to the thousandths, which means once again, I have 20 of these, 10 for each of the hundredths. There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's one of the hundredths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's the second hundredth for a total of 21 thousandths. Now, 21 thousandths divided by 3, that should give me three. Uh, sorry, 7 in each. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 for a total of 21. Lastly, I'd like to do this. I bring down my decimal here, and I notice that I have one ones in each of the boxes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for the tenths. I have four for the hundredths. Right, I'll put a little arrow there in case you can't see what I'm doing here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the thousandths place. So that gives me a one point seven four seven. Well, something like that. Now let's run the algorithm. We'll run the algorithm just to check. Uh, 3 goes into 5 once for 3. I subtract, I get 2. I bring down the next guy. All right, 3 goes into 22 7 times for 21. And this should mirror uh, exactly what happened over here on the place value chart. I have 1 left. Bring down my 4. 3 goes into 14. 4 for 12. I subtract, I get 2. I bring down my 1. 3 goes into 21 7 times. Now, there's always that question of the, the, uh, the decimal point. Well, oh, sorry, let me finish this off. So 20 for 21, I subtract, I have nothing left. So I have a 1747. Seven. Where does that decimal go? Well, what I like to tell the kids or talk to the kids about is uh, reasonableness. So if I have a 5 here and I need to divide by 3, if I'm thinking about money, I have about $5 that I'm going to split between three people. If I was to put the if I was to put the decimal over here, that would mean everyone gets $1,747, which makes absolutely no sense. The only place that decimal should go so it makes sense is right here. 
And the reason why, well, it's a little more than a dollar. And that makes sense because if I had five dollars and I'm giving it to three different people, they're going to get a little more than a dollar um, to break that up. Anywhere else, seventeen dollars, if I put it after the seven, between the seven and the four, now I have seventeen dollars. That doesn't make sense. If I put the decimal before the one, that means they're getting about seventeen cents each. That doesn't make any sense. If I place the decimal between the four and the seven, uh, after the four, sorry, after the four, that means each person is getting $174. Or thereabouts, and that's just no good either. Okay, so that's how we run this. Um, terrific. Okay, thanks, folks. Bye bye.